Hello! Before we start, my lens on my camera that I usually use was in my backpack and my backpack fell out of the car we were unloading the bus and then it got a little dented. So it's not working right now. So I gotta order a new lens. So I'm using a different camera. So if it looks different, it's because it is different. But today, we're doing a Q&A because I realized I haven't done a Magdalene Rose Q&A yet and I am currently in the studio working on music. I posted on Instagram and I had you guys ask me questions about anything. They could be studio related or they could be just about anything. I got all of them screenshotted here so I can read them. So before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Next week we're doing more tour vlogs and then obviously summer is going to be lots of tour vlogs. And then we're announcing a big tour this week and so fall is gonna have a lot of tour vlogs. Definitely subscribe to the channel. I've been trying to post more shorts and stuff. Follow me at official Magdalen Rose so you guys get all of the inside scoop on everything. I just posted that my clothing line with Chasing the Wind Apparel is dropping next week. So definitely follow so you can get your hands on some of those when they drop. Let's start the Q&A. First question, are more breakdowns on the way? Yes. Like I said, we were in the studio this week and we were finishing Guerrilla Warfare, which I'm pretty sure is what we're calling it. I don't know 100%, but I'm like 99.5% sure we're calling it Guerrilla Warfare. We're finishing up all the extra vocals and stuff on that song. And then we wrote maybe three songs. One of them we're gonna start writing vocals on today and the other two we are finishing up instrumental music ideas before we go into vocal writing. There are breakdowns in almost every song. So yes, more breakdowns are coming. If you could sing with any female singer, who would it be? There are several female singers that I would love to sing with, but I think the one right now that I would love to sing with most is Bonnie from Stay in Atlantic. They're an Australian punk rock band, kind of. They're one of my favorite bands right now. They've influenced a lot of my writing recently, so I think I would like to have her either sing with me or me sing with her, whichever way that goes. Okay, next question. How did you meet Claude Beauty 101? So if you don't know who Claude Beauty 101, she is one of my best friends, Kat. She is big on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. She is known as like the emo scene queen. <laughs> I met her last year because with GFM, we were starting to do like influencer collaboration type thing. So we had reached out to a few people and Kat responded. So we invited her to a show and she was supposed to film a couple videos with us. So she would post some on her page and we would post them on our page. So that's how I met her. And we called a few times before just to kind of discuss ideas and figure out like what we wanted to film, like what kind of topics we wanted to film on. There was a lot of similarities in that area because our styles are very similar and so then after we did that collaboration we kind of just texted almost every day non-stop since then and we became really good friends just a, a god thing god brought her into my life and the relationship blossomed from there <laughs> when you arrange a song how do you figure out the drums what we've been doing especially recently with these Magdalene Rose songs is we have like a guitar riff idea or a vocal idea or something like that and then Weston usually puts like a basic drum pattern underneath it and then once we're listening through we kind of throw out ideas of like oh well it'd be cool to have a break here or this kind of fill would be cool here and usually it's me Blaze and Weston in the same room working on stuff like that and then once we have kind of a rough idea of what we want the drums to sound like then we bring in like an actual electric kit and Blaze plays them so they're not like all programmed and everything so whenever Blaze is playing obviously his style will like reflect into what's already been programmed and so sometimes happy accidents happen and <laughs> drums change because he accidentally played something different but it sounded better than what we had written so it's a whole process. How much time did you get to rest up? Crazy, you're already going back on tour. We got back on June 4th and then me, Blaze, and Weston drove to Florida on June 4th and got to my house at like 5 a.m. because we were picking up some band equipment. I had to refill some merch tubs and everything and then obviously it's good to see my family and my dogs and stuff. <laughs> we literally, we got up at like 11 on June 5th, the morning of June 5th, packed a trailer full of stuff, and then started driving immediately back to Tennessee. <laughs> and we got home to Tennessee around 3 in the morning, and then we've had the rest of the time off. But we've been working, we've been writing, I've been doing school in the middle of writing and stuff, but I am sleeping better. For some reason, the entire last tour, I would have nightmares every single night and wake up and just never get rest. So I have not had a single night like that since I've been here. I guess I'm better rested than I was on tour, but we'll see. We'll see. I I'm still going strong, so. Got there a couple 
follow and have an Instagram and they ask which one of us do you like better? I can't pick a favorite between Gunther and Capone because they're so different. What's your skincare routine? My skin is crying out for help. Okay, so I am very sensitive skin. I had terrible skin up until like a year or two ago. I would get really giant like hormonal acne and it would hurt so bad. What I have figured out is you work with what is realistic. You have all these people who have like 30 step routines and everything. I don't do that. I have a cleanser. The brand's called Pharmacy. They have a cleanser and like a makeup remover that I use. Most of the time though, if I'm not like actually taking my makeup off, I'm gonna be honest, I'm too lazy to wash my face. I don't want to do it. And sometimes your body just fights you and it doesn't want to be clean. So to combat that, I got these face like wipe things. They are, they look like little cotton pads, but they have like cleanser stuff on them. It's from the brand Gozerex. I don't really know how to say it right. It's a K-Beauty brand. So literally anything K-Beauty is gonna take care of your face. But this, I use this to wash my face in the morning and at night and you literally just take it and go like that and you're done. I just got sent a PR package from Kiehl's. I've been trying out some of their products that they have sent me, but that's not what I've been using consistently. I'm still making sure they work and stuff. Um, this is another. It is the Innisfree Sika Balm with Bihasi Oil. I don't know. I just call it the sicko bomb. <laughs> but basically it's like a little, kind of like a lotion. You just put a little bit on like all sides of your face and it helps clear out my acne. I lather up with this bio oil. I had a coupon for this and I saw a bunch of people talking about it. So I literally only bought it because I had a coupon. But this thing is a lifesaver. It helps keep your face moisturized. I have really oily skin. So I was worried that I would just look like, I don't know, like a bag of potato chips I had been sitting on my face. You don't look oily. Your skin like absorbs and stuff. It's really good for your skin. Also, <laughs> this literally doesn't have any packaging left. It is just this like random moisturizer I got on Amazon. It's supposed to be made for sensitive skin, but recently I feel like it's been burning my face. So I want to try the Like Butter Topicals because it's made specifically for people with eczema and acne prone skin. And I have both. That is literally all I do on tour. I use these face wipes. I use this Sika Balm. I use Bio Oil and then I use a moisturizer. I'm trying to find a better one. Also sunscreen is important. I just got a sunscreen from Kiehl's because I left my sunscreen back home and I've been really bad about using that. So I've been using the Kiehl's sunscreen the past couple days. Next question. Are you going to play the new Mortal Kombat? I hope so because growing up we loved playing Mortal Kombat but we were not the type of family to buy games the second they came out so I haven't played a lot of them. So I hope I get to play the new one because I've seen the trailers for it and it looks really interesting so I would love to play. How did you learn to metal growl? How long did it take to be able to do it well? So I actually learned just by teaching myself. A lot of it was learning by imitation so I found bands that I liked and that I wanted to sound like and I listened to them and tried to copy them. At first it did not sound great and it hurt my voice a lot. It probably took like at least a year to sound great and not hurt. It takes a while for your voice to kind of figure out what you're doing. <laughs> After that it's all about experimentation. When you try to expand your range it's not going to be comfortable for your vocal cords for a little bit so there's gonna be a little bit of pushback but as long as you're not straining your voice like the second you feel like your voice is getting tired give it a rest. Like don't do anything else. Vocal rest is important. Tea is is important. Diaphragm support is important. So breathing from your stomach, not here. Do not push from here. That is very bad. Sleep is important. Didn't realize how important sleep was because your vocal cords are a muscle. It's the same thing if you do like a super intense workout and you don't sleep, your arms are going to be tired. Your legs are going to be tired. So if you do a super intense vocal thing and you don't sleep, your vocal cords are going to be tired. <laughs> it's a lot of experimenting and practicing. I do vocal warm-ups before every show to get my vocal cords kind of used to projecting a lot. It all is very much personally defined on like how that was gonna work out. Warm-ups are important. Imitation is a great teacher and I'm just experimenting with things. My screen used to be a lot higher and I wanted to do lower stuff so I just kept trying to go lower and lower and obviously I would hit walls because my voice didn't have that range yet but the more you practice it the more you can kind of stretch out your vocal cords and get them used to doing it. Next question, how much of a change was it from GFM to your solo? So it was a very big change. Obviously I traveled with my family. I was in a band with my family and what I'm doing now is the 100% opposite. I am completely self-funded right now and I am traveling <laughs> on my own. Thankfully, I am basically traveling with my second family because I get to travel with the Seventh Day guys. I kind of moved up a little bit because I'm no longer traveling in a van and doing like the DIY tour thing. I have my own bunk in their tour bus and stuff. That's been a great thing, <laughs> but definitely adjusting to traveling without my sisters or my parents and stuff was difficult and very weird at first. Having to learn that I am only a lead singer was very strange strange at first because I was used to having a bass on stage and so that was kind of like a safety blanket so the first few shows I was like I don't know what to do with my hands. So it has definitely been a process but everybody around me has been super supportive in that process so I've had a good team of people to be able
able to either guide me and like, oh, well, here's an idea, try this, or just kind of encourage me and be like, oh, you just, you're doing great. Big changes are difficult, <laughs> but I am learning how to kind of navigate through that. What's the biggest tattoo you want to get, where and why? So I want to finish out my back piece. So some of you guys know that I have like a half back piece. It's a raven and peony flowers that are surrounding it, and it goes to half of my back. I want to finish that out. I saw an artist called Mothica. She is another female alt pop singer. She posted kind of a progress picture of her back piece. I was like, oh, that'd be super cool. That would be a great way to incorporate into what I have now too, like the same pattern type idea and stuff. So ever since seeing that picture, I kind of want to finish out and have a full back piece. So that would definitely be probably the biggest one. I don't know when I'm going to get that because I need to save up money by buying my own tattoos and stuff. What is your favorite show? I have lots of shows that I really, really enjoy that are in different categories. I have tons of anime that I enjoy a lot. That would probably be my favorite genre of shows to watch is anime shows. But then obviously you have like your Cartoon Network shows that I really adore. And then we are watching a couple different shows on the bus. So there's like two that are like the main shows that we watch on the bus and it's Below Deck and New Girl. And so Below Deck is like a reality TV show with these um, people who work on like yachts and stuff. And then New Girl is just awkward comedy similar to like The Office or like Parks and Rec. It's in like that vicinity of shows. I've watched most of the Marvel shows too. I still need to catch up on a few of them. I don't think I have an answer for that one. <laughs> What's one of the craziest things you've seen while performing live? On this last tour, a dog literally came onto our stage. So that was pretty funny. But we've also played stuff like Gathering of the Juggalos. And there's some raunchy stuff there. Let's just put it at that. <laughs> what song gives you the most emotions while performing? I don't know if you were specifically saying like sad emotions or happy emotions or if you were just saying emotions in general. I have really liked playing Guerrilla Warfare live. That one's a new song that's unreleased that we're finishing in the studio right now. But that one is just so like over dramatic, like on purpose. And it's meant to be like your villain era type song. It doesn't make you sad or anything. But it makes you feel like kind of overpowered. It makes you feel OP. <laughs> so I think that one is probably the one I get into the most right now. What is your favorite GFM song? Honest Abe is one of my favorite ones. I just, I like the lyrics, I like the melody, but then I also like the heaviness to it. So that one's one of my favorite ones. Can you do a backflip? If yes, show proof. If no, show proof. You guys asked for this. <laughs> Thank you. Next one, favorite tattoo. So, if you guys don't know, I've been getting several tattoos lately and my wallet is hurting because of that. But I have found I am adult now so I can spend my money on tattoos if I want to. I don't have to ask somebody to pay for a tattoo for me anymore. It's been fun getting tattoos and especially tattoos that I've been like thinking about for a while and stuff. That's been a lot of fun. I love the half back piece that I have. That one's one of my favorite ones. But I also, I have the barbed wire heart around my knee. That's one of my favorite ones because I just like the way it looks. And then, Recently, I got this one. It still has Santa Derm on it, so that's why it looks a little shiny. Um, but it says loyalty, but I wanted a word right here. For such a long time, I saw somebody have it on like YouTube or Pinterest or something, and I was like, oh, I want one like that. I don't know. I think like those would probably be my top three right now. I don't know if I can choose which one is my favorite. Would you ever be interested in working on and putting out a song that somebody else wrote? So I know lots of people do this. I, I don't know that I would be opposed to it, but right now, when I'm writing music, it is very therapeutic for me, and so there's a lot of my own messaging going into that. So I think as of now, I probably would be focusing more on just getting my own thoughts and feelings out right now because it helps a lot. I'm gonna leave that one with a question mark. I don't know. So that was the last question. If you guys want to know how these people submitted a question, just follow me on Instagram at official Magdalene Rose. I just posted on my story and people responded to it with their questions and stuff. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and got you some kind of insight into what we're doing right now and hope it entertained you. I hope my life entertained you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have not joined me on Patreon yet, patreon.com slash official Magdalene Rose. All my gold tier patrons are on the screen right now. I really appreciate you guys. Like I said, this all is self-funded in this new chapter of my life and so anything musical, you guys are helping me a lot. But also shout out to my team at Rockfest because they are helping me uh, spend that money wisely and they are advising me and helping me out with a ton of stuff. So could not do any of that without them and obviously could not do anything without you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope you guys have a great week. Stay posted because we are announcing a big tour this week and I'm very excited for you guys to hear who it is with. We also announced that City Rock Fest is coming back and I'm gonna be on tour with that one as well. So there are just all kinds
kinds of tours happening this year and I'm going to be on the road a lot. So if you guys miss out on a show, I got nothing because I'm trying to be out there as much as I can and I don't know that I can tour any more than I am right now. So I need to add lots of the dates to my website and stuff. Also, I have a website now. So I'll put the link to that in the description so you guys can check it out. But I will be adding the tour dates and stuff really soon. I came in here to steal something. I'm going to be adding that to my page and stuff, so definitely be on the lookout for that to see if we're playing in a city near you. Like I said, we're touring so much, it's kind of on you if you don't come to a show. Come to a show. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Aww.